Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. That's it for now. See you, Commander. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. Garrus doesn't need anyone to hold him. True. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need it. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. 
He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish he weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard, our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. <laughs> 